I'm Luz Baidera, wife of John Gilo. I'm a resident of Ebu. I do my business around Magena Street, opposite the Ima Sako. I carry on a business of, I mix a boutique and home decor and general, general beddings and everything. I've been in business for more than 30 years. I have my, uh, I am a mother of three by the way, and they are all doing businesses. They are youth. I have educated them in this business, but I, I started lowly. I started with a, a, a little shop, went to Mituba, uh, went loud selling Mitubas, and God helped me, I got a shop, and that is when I started selling new things. Business is not very bad. Though today it's very competitive, there is a lot of competition, and now we have chosen to go also online. And the business online is proving to be even better. Those days before we used to rely on goodwill, customers that know you. Those are the people you expect to come whenever you bring new new things. But nowadays you don't have to rely on somebody that knows you. Because when you, you put it online, everybody will discover what they want and they will be, be able to pick where to go and pick their things. Right now I'm doing uh, one third business physical and three quarters I'm doing online. Having stayed in Embu for a long time, I have seen things change because before people used to, 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 to come all, all, in all shops uh, for, because there was a stage around the poster. There was a stage around uh, BP. There was even a stage at Emco. So people were spread even in this town. But lately, when they took all the stages to around the Magunado area, the business changed. People go to those sides and it's very hard for them to come up. So we, li we rely on people that come from offices, those the offices that are around this area. and. We pray that they can be able to do something that can make the businesses, uh, uh, the distribution of people that are coming to Ebu Town even, so that the stages can be distributed all over, like it is done in Nyeri, like it is in Meru, like it is in Rika. There's nowhere else where businesses, I mean stages are concentrated in one place. So that is one thing I've found not very good. I started the business in town in 1998, maybe you are not born then. And I started very small, with very little money. And then there were, there were very few shops around selling clothes. I was able to enjoy my no monopoly. And that is when I was able even to put up my house, was able to buy the first car. Because I generally we were like four shops in this town. Uh, with time, this has become the business of almost everybody. The clothes, the clothes business is lucrative. So people have joined in and my, we are selling with people who are basically like my children. But I'm not hampered from doing what I really know best because that has been a calling. It's like a calling from the day I was young. I loved trends, I loved fashion, I loved to dress properly and to see people dressed properly. As long as God has given you a mouth, has given you a uh, you have a body that is not sick. If you wake up in the morning, if, if there is somebody who has, even if it's a friend or if, even if you, you come here without money, tell me you want to go and sell something here. I'll give you, go and sell, get your profit and get you uh, and give me my profit, my, my money. So if you are only you are able to wake up, be a straightforward boy or a girl, you are able, we are able to go far. No, even as we did not start from here, you can hear we started from small retail with around 3,000 uh, cash. But we were able to rise until we could see we are, we are doing something good. We were able to, we are able to, to make, to make a riffing, we are able to educate our children. We are able to even buy even plots or something. Starting from zero, we did not inherit anything. 
and we were we never worked. We never went to anybody's office. We started and we were able to go through because we had determination, we had hope, and we were encouraged by our parents. So as long as you are okay, ile kitu baya sana ni kuwa uko labda na shida ya ugojwa ama umekosa. As long as uko sawa, umesimama, just go looking for a job. When you get a job, work for a year. Be a faithful servant. When you get your 10,000 saving or 20,000, go to his ring. Look for something, identify something, and learn with it. And start small, going up. And stop the issue of drinking. That when you get 500, you drink 400. What are you doing? You get 500, you eat, you save even if it's 100. And you'll get there. Most of these people who are very rich, in, even in Kenya, you hear like Jaga Karume started with Chaku, and he was able to rise. Most of those people you hear are very rich, they started from zero. Those children that inherit their parents' things, they don't go very far. But those people who build themselves, they can go very far. I would advise them, there's a lot of money in business. You only need to have something that you love. You do something that, that is a, a, like you are calling, and you'll go learn a little bit. My name is Los Waidera, proprietor of Capran Boutique and Car, located opposite Daima Bank, adjacent to Emco, and this is my hustle.